Okay. So what you want to do now is we'll just create a chopper. An empty one. Alright, so we have a helicopter, our AT Specialist, and the Tunguska. Now what we want is AT Specialist takes out the Tunguska and the chopper becomes unlocked. First thing we need to do is lock the chopper. Vehicle lock, locked. Now, you have to give the chopper a name. so. We'll name it Hawk 1. It's also a good habit to use lowercase. Now we'll go up to the trigger, double click on it, and we'll put the, um, put another hint. Actually, okay, actually what we can do now as, as well is um, let me show you. Make another trigger. We'll put the alive tongue one. We'll take down the axis A and B. Okay, and um, on activation, we'll put hint. In this case, it's one chopper. And uh, we'll put a time out. So basically, this message will come up 10 seconds after the Tunguska is taken out. So that's the setup. Take a last look. All right. Now we'll put another trigger. In fact, we don't have to make another trigger. We can just use this one since this happens right when the Tunguska is taken out. So we'll put the what you what you want to put is Hawk one lock. So the Hawk one lock is false. Okay. So basically, this means that. As soon as this trigger is activated, because the condition is the Tunguska is dead, on activation, uh, Tunguska is down, the little message pops up, and Hawk 1, which is the Black Hawk, the lock is false, so it becomes unlocked. Press OK, and let's go test it out. Actually, first let me show you that the helicopter is actually locked. You can't get into it. You don't have any options to get in. So we'll take out the Tunguska and it should become unlocked. Gotta move forward a bit. So Tundus goes down. Now in 10 seconds, the second message should come up, which is the choppers unlocked. There we go, choppers are unlocked. And the chopper is supposed to be unlocked. So let's test it out. There we go, we have an option to get in. So that's how we use, uh, that's the basic use of triggers.
Um, I'm just going to give you a website right now where it's a huge command reference because I only showed you two or three commands that can be used in triggers. I mean, there's hundreds. So I'm just going to give you the link. Uh, it'll be you can see it in the description and I'm also going to put the codes that I use in the triggers in the description as well and I hope this helped you a bit on how to use triggers and uh, actually I'm just gonna open up my mission for you Operation Rasoon actually I'm gonna open up MVD Extraction and show you another way you can use a trigger Another way you can use a trigger is by when a vehicle enters a certain trigger spot. So for in this case, uh, the vehicle enters this uh, this long trigger area. There's actually four vehicles. That's why there's four triggers. When it enters it, it triggers a script, which uh, it's the IED script, and they blow up. So let's take a look how it looks. Basically in the on activation this can also be found in the uh, in the command reference it basically just executes the IED 1.sqf script file which is also located in the mission folder and the activation in this case is vehicle is present right so that's another way we can use it or you can also use triggers to um, where did I put it here it is to create a marker let's say you don't want the people who are playing your mission to know where something is beforehand so once a certain objective is completed a marker will be created so in this case the condition is when objectives 1 through 6 are completed um, a marker is created this is the entire command to create a small marker which can also be found in the command reference but I will put this in um, in the description I'll put this in the description so you guys if you ever want to use it you'll know how so I hope this helped you. Um, stay tuned. I might be making. Uh, I, I might make another trigger tutorial. And uh, all right, guys. So just post any comments. I, I'll, actually, if you can't use your command reference, just post a few comments, and then I'll try and help you with the with the command. All right. See you later.